afternoon we are on the Norwegian Encore. We're going to show you everything that we do on the ship. We are on a five night going to Jamaica in the private island. We're going to show you everything that we eat, everything that we drink, all our activities on board. So follow along. The first stop is the social to make our reservations for the shows. Here is the list of shows during our sailing. We're on a five night, and then there's some shows on the back that you don't need reservations. But the, I, the big, uh, the big production show, and then the comedy. Yes, I do recommend coming here right away because the show, especially comedy, does sell out. You can also book your activities here on the screen. It was actually faster than waiting the social line. Uh, I stuff was already sold out though at like 1 p.m. Yes, and we didn't get on board until 12:30 maybe. Yeah, it was, things go quick. After the stress of booking all our shows, we decided to come to one of our favorite spots on the ship, the District Brew House. They have so many different beers on tap and in the bottles. And by 1.16, every single comedy show is sold out. Our stateroom is not ready yet, so we decided to go up to the observation lounge and look at this giant model of the ship. It's like the biggest cruise ship I've ever seen. It is massive. It's really, really pretty though. I love the design. I love how like the colors go all throughout the ship. They do have light snacks here. And look at this spinach and article of pretty cheese. And then they have empanadas, breadsticks, and this pastry. This pastry I hope they have for our breakfast. We have made it to the buffet and found a Groot. I have never seen this on a cruise ship before. It is different types of chocolate bark and brittle. Finally, lunchtime. The buffet looked big with a decent selection. I wouldn't say wonderful selection. Uh, we got a ham and cheese panini, curly fries, chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, short ribs, bourbon chicken, pasta, and a hot dog with crispy fried onions. We were just talking about how there's a chocolate shop that has chocolates and ice cream and a bake shop with like baked goods and Gelato. cupcakes, gelatos. And look at the chocolate fountain outside the chocolate shop. It's mesmerizing. It is really, really neat to look at. Yeah, it's just kind of an art piece. Like this isn't used, like you can't go dip a donut in there or strawberries, but it's really neat. Can you imagine if we can? Uh. Drinking a painkiller while listening to the piano player, Davey. Not something that you see a lot. There is a welcome aboard trivia before sail away. One of my favorite bars is located outside on deck eight. It's a sail and sustain bar, and they always have a cocktail of the day. We are currently drinking this Mai Tai. So one of the cool things about uh, coming out of the port of Miami is that you get to see some of the biggest and best cruise ships in the entire world. And uh, if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of theme parks and roller coasters. And the Carnival Celebration has the Bolt Sea Coaster on top of it. One of the most expensive uh, roller coaster credits that you can get. Yes. I think uh, Hyde is getting that soon. Yeah, Hyde's going to be on the, uh, the one of the Mardi Gras. But it does look like fun. We went on one of these in Germany. It was just on the ground. And I can't imagine how much fun that would be on a cruise ship. Especially in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Now it is an upcharge on those cruise ships, but this, uh, uh, the celebration of the Mardi Gras, I would like to go on either one of them. Uh, they've got a Shaq's Big Chicken restaurant that serves like chicken fingers. And then they've got a tiki bar on the pool deck with tiki bar drinks and a roller coaster. It is a very, very large cruise ship. We're back in the brew house and I don't think I've ever seen this miniature beer pong game. Oh, too far. It's really difficult of trying to line it and get it. Oh, maybe. You're good at bouncing it like that. Yeah, if it bounces, it works. The sail away party. 
the sailor a party and I don't think I've ever heard this song on a cruise ship before. At the sailor a party, they were giving out shirts and you caught one. Not a bad shirt and it says Norwegian on the back. I wanted to go to the sea room, but someone saw a sign for prime rib. So here we are at the dinner buffet. We were walking, we were on the deck anyway. And uh, yeah, prime rib on the carving station. Can't pass that up. We also have pretzel bread. I got Mexican string cheese. Yep. Another chicken tender. And I think you got stir fried chicken. Yep. They have free liquor tasting. It is currently 8 o'clock. We tried to eat in the main dining room, but both smaller restaurants didn't have any availability and there was no wait list. They didn't tell you to go to the Manhattan room. However, that was probably 20 parties deep. So we are eating up here in the buffet again. We got the prime rib, the turkey again, or the chicken again, the fries. I got bolognese. And you went with very simple chicken and fries. I am not very hungry. In the atrium, they have a few game shows. Earlier today, they had a game show called Take the Chance. And now, they have the game show Majority Rules, where they're not looking for the right answer, they're looking for the most popular answer. Never seen this before. It's silent disco time, and they are using very, very technological, advanced headphone sets. Now it depends on where you are. Like right now, our headphones are yellow, so we are in the today song. Then you have 2000s in green. Then you have 80s in blues and 90s in red. So whenever I walk across the dance floor over here, my headphones should be changing to blue and now I'm in the 80s so it depends on where you stand in the club of what kind of music you are listening to very very advanced I've never seen this before and the ceiling is awesome lets you know exactly what kind of music you're in it is very fascinating the fact that you have to walk from section to section however you're not allowed drinks on the dance floor so for me to go from the 90s to the 80s I have to walk around the dance floor. They are ending the silent disco with everyone on the exact same song and the lyrics on the giant screen. While in the district brew house, I had a guillotine cocktail. It's kind of like an old fashioned, but served straight up. Ending the night at the local, watching the screensaver mode. The band just finished. I got a pub hot dog with sauerkraut, bacon, and you went with wings. Buffalo wings. Buffalo wings. You also got the brownie cheesecake. Really good. We had this on the getaway. Yeah, and it's going to help with the fire up in the wings. Good morning, it is day two on our board. We are on the private island, so we're about to get off the ship. But of course we need breakfast first. Really nice breakfast. They have a lot of different omelet stations. You got something I've never seen on a breakfast buffet. Yeah, garlic fried rice. And then bacon. They have eggs benedict, really, really nice. And off we go on the private island. It is a tender port, so therefore you have to board a smaller ship you have to get a tender ticket we picked up our ticket by the screens by the elevator and off we go to the private Ooh. island it is uh, very rocky though very very rocky welcome to Norwegian's private island great syrup K okay. caution sea urchins oh no oh well, we need to stay away from those we are heading all the way down where it's usually a little bit more quiet. However, the bar line was very long last time, around what, 11 it probably picked up? Yeah. 
It, right now it is 8.30. So we always get off the ship early on private island days, enjoy the no bar lines for a while, and then go back and take a nap on the ship. Watch your step or you'll I'm, end up like this guy. I'm pretty sure that's for me after I have like seven drinks on the beach. They do have swings here. I'm gonna try to sit down graciously while I'm filming. Oh, this will go well. <laughs> and uh, especially since it's crooked, the swing is crooked. Now they also have Royal Caribbean's private island is very close to this island. You can see it actually. And there it goes a royal ship into their private island. You that's, do. That's one of the big boys, too. That's like one of the oasis. Trip. Yes, that was Oasis. And you do get pretty decent views of our own ship on the beach. We have found our spot. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Very empty beach. Like we said, we got here around probably 8.30, 8.20. We boarded the tender ship, made our way down, and now drinking and floating in the ocean for a few. It is lunchtime. We got a spicy chicken from the food truck. They have different types of food. They also have a buffet. The buffet is not as good as the food truck. The food truck has uh, this chicken sandwich, a pulled pork, some fish. And now it is around noon and the beach is very crowded. This is why we get to the beach early. The line for the bar is probably about 30 minutes long. So we are moving on after our chicken sandwich. We moved to a different beach. It's the one closer to the ship. It's very, very crowded. However, there's more bars around, so the bar lines are less. It is time to head back to the cruise ship. It started sprinkling, so therefore there's a giant line. It is currently 2.15. Back on the ship, we headed to deck 16 to the pool deck to wash off our feet as there's no feet washing stations in the island. Then we went to deck 15 to the observation lounge where they have really cool snacks. Look at this sausage roll. And then there's cheese bread. I'm not sure what this is. It's another cheese bread. And by we went to the observation lounge, you showered and I got us fun snacks. Yes, that's true. Came back to the room, took a nap, and watched Doctor Strange on one of their four movie channels. We are sailing away from the private island. We oh, have the uh, Liberty of the Seas there. Yeah, right across the way. And we grabbed some beers. Different Brew has my favorite bar on board. And going to dinner. Yeah, drinking a highlight. And uh, if you want to learn more about the Liberty of the Seas, watch Kwani's video that's on our channel. Dinner time. I got a Caesar salad, a new one with something very me, spinach and artichoke dip. Our main entrees just arrived. I went with the shrimp pasta, and you went with one of my favorites. It's the Parmesan crusted pork chop. Dessert time. I went with the after eight mint chocolate mousse which looks amazing and you went with your all-time favorite dessert Boston cream pie it is definitely Thomas Kincaid night here in the art gallery with a lot of the famous Disney paintings had to come back to the sale and sustain bar the drink of the day is the pulp art Even though it is January 4th, they are playing the Grinch. It is beautiful outside. We're gonna watch for a few. First comedy show inside the social. Now, again, you need reservations. They do have a standby line. If the reservations don't show up 10 minutes prior to the show, they fill the line with the, uh, the standby line. In the atrium, they have a few game shows. One of them is Battle of the Sexes. We are in the cavern. 
Right now we're in the main show theater for the first time. We're gonna see the Beatles Invasion. It's a band that normally plays in the Cavern Club, but right now they're playing one of their sets in the main theater. Now the Norwegian Encore, they used to have the Kinky Boots show like on Broadway. Uh, they did not renew the contract for that, so that show is done. I'm guessing this is the, the fill-in plan. very disappointed we waited over an hour and our food came out wrong I ordered buffalo wings these are not buffalo wings I also ordered pretzel bites there's no pretzel bites I think your wings were correct I don't even know what kind of sauce it is no idea be, got food. but yeah we waited an hour long lines good morning it is day three which is a C day here now we went to bed really late last night. We went to bed around 2 a.m. So by the time we woke up around 10.30, the buffet has closed. So there's two options for breakfast. You have the local or you have the observation lounge with light offerings. So I made myself a ham sandwich and a cinnamon roll. In the atrium, they are doing a presentation of how to run a floating hotel. And it gives you all these facts. Like, in a seven day cruise, 5,000 pounds of bacon is used. They have now brought out the officers where they will answer your questions. A trivia we don't see much is movie clip trivia happening in the atrium. We did really well. We got 18 out of 20 and we tied for first place. No prizes though. We decided to eat in the main dining room for lunch. I got chicken flautas. And you went with... Monte Cristo. Yeah, that looks really good. And we got sat right next to the window. There's a bird. They have a Latitude exclusive program. For our cruise, it was Silver and Up that got invited. You get free drinks, which is nice. And cheese. And, yep, cheese and crackers and grapes. And they play trivia. It's a fun time. Back at the Sail and Sustain bar. This time we're drinking a Cafe Replay. It tastes a lot like coffee. Odd ingredients, you don't taste the pineapple juice. It's just uh, coffee. By the pool deck, they have Mr. Sexy Legs contest. Now we're at Maltings, which is the whiskey bar. We are drinking a Woodford Old Fashioned. In the atrium, they are playing Deal or No Deal. We got three cards for $60. You can get one card for $30. And let's see uh, if we win. Hopefully I'm not called up on stage. I don't want that. The local has a different menu in the afternoon versus late night. This is spinach and artichoke dip. It's only on the afternoon menu. I do have to say, sometimes the service does take long. Sometimes it's quick. Last night we waited an hour and 20 minutes for service. Your wings came out in 10 minutes today. So it's really hit or miss, but the food is amazing. During Deal or No Deal, we won an instant win card that we picked up in the theater during the bingo sales card. In the main dining room, it is dinner time. For an appetizer, I got bruschetta and you got the Asian spare ribs. For the main entree, I got rigatoni and you got something very different. A barbecue mixed grill, so it's ribs, chicken, bratwurst, and sweet potato fries. Back in the social for comedy. Now it is reservations. However, 
if you don't show up 10 minutes before the show starts, you forfeit your reservations and they take it from standby. Now, it is two minutes until that's forfeited and there's a lot of empty chairs. So, feel free to stand in the standby line. You might not need reservations. We decided to take a spin and look at the buffet since we didn't have any dessert. And look at this ice sculpture and it spins. It's on a rotating platform. And it's cupcake night. And it's cupcake night. Cupcakes. Not only is it cupcake night, but it's crepe night. This is the whole reason why we walked the buffet. Find out, we finally got the crepe night. We did. First time in the district brew house today. It is the piano bar at night. Very, very crowded, very popular, very lively crowd. I'm drinking Norwegian specially brewed beer, 66. And we are playing uh, the beer pong game again. I really like this piano player. He only made, uh, plays the chorus of songs or a minute or two. In the cavern, they have the Beatles tribute band playing the early years today. Good morning, it is day four and we are in Jamaica. Morning trivia, I'm gonna see if I can do better than six like last time. I did much better, got 12 out of 20. Winning team got 14. We're the only ones that showed up to the Mission Impossible game show. The game he put out dots around the floor and then he made a pathway and he had to memorize the whole pathway to get it right. It was very difficult. It was kind of like playing like the 10th level of Simon, except you had to walk around and do it. But we did get a prize. Lunchtime at the buffet, and it was a really good buffet. We got the pizza pretzel bread, I got cheese and pepperoni, loaded potato fries, I got a pulled pork panini, chicken, parmesan, piccata. Yep. You got... Some stir fried pork, some chicken fingers, and, and uh, some fries. We got a great view here in uh, the Ocho Rios here in Jamaica. Watching Shrek in the atrium. They also had popcorn yeah, at the bar. It's so nice. We decided to get off the ship. There's nothing happening right now. And we've never been to this side of Jamaica. We've only been to Falmo. Now, we were supposed to go to Puerto Plata. In the Dominican and, Republic. Yes. However, about six months ago, they had an accident and one of the ships uh, crashed into the pier. No one got hurt. But since then, they have not docked there. So they've either been sending them to Amber Cove or canceling the port and moving it. And that's what they did on our cruise. Yes, I'm kind of sad because we had plans for Puerto Plata. We had a whole day planned. However, we're in checkout. I will Jamaica. say here uh, in this port in Jamaica, there is a like an attraction with multiple roller coasters on it. But it's insanely expensive. Like if you want to do the two roller coasters and other stuff, it is like $145. I told you you could go and I would just stay on the ship. I watch Shrek instead. Right after you get off the dock and the pier, you get a really good picture of your ship. Also, you can see the roller coaster. What are the roller coasters? If you're familiar with like the Rowdy Bear Ridge, they have an inverted uh, suspended coaster like they do there. You can kind of see it from down here. We did get four bottles here at the Duty Free Store. Yeah, we got a, a vodka liqueur, two rums. I like it. We didn't film much outside the port, but I feel like it's just like NASA. I saw McCall. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, no, which areas to stay in, but overall pretty safe. Very friendly people just trying to make a day's living. I don't know why the roller coasters are more expensive than Walt Disney World. Back for more trivia with Who's Talking, where they play a sound clip and you have to guess, well, who's talking. The trivia Who's Talking was very, very difficult. And now it's Think and Link. Which means the next it is a will be weird version link. of the game Link. We just finished up with Brain Teaser Trivia, which was very difficult. 
And now they're going to do a dance class. They have so many activities in the evening. Yesterday they had the perfect couple. We decided to go to music instead because we thought this was a love and marriage show. It was not. It was a whole bunch of shenanigans these couples had to do. So be forewarned, you do have to pick and choose, but they do play some of them on your TV. In the atrium around 5 o'clock, they always have a family game. Right now it is Music Mania, where groups of people have to go in, pick a song, and they have to sing to the beat. The DJ plays part of the song, then mutes part of the song, and they hope that you're still on lyrics and on time when they restart the song. It is dinner time, and with Norwegian, if you do the free at sea, you get especially restaurant credit. So we are cashing in ours here at the Italian restaurant called Anda. First off, of course, the bread with three different dips. And for the appetizer, I went with the market salad, and you went with one of your favorite things, beef carpaccio. For the main entree, I got the veal and it's massive with a side of mushrooms. You got potatoes and a filet that looks really good. Dessert time. You went with a signature dessert, which is butterscotch bonito. And I went with cheesecake, which is one of my favorite desserts. We just came from the theater and watched the magician on board. And now we're in the cavern for the Beatles' later years. ended early because the wonder why. rain came out of nowhere and this poor DJ is trying to clean up his stuff so fast and he's getting rained on, poured on I should say. But uh, for the half an hour was going on, really fun. Yeah, no, definitely. Good thing they never turned off that tipping bucket today. No, no. That uh... Sail and sustain. Good morning, it is day five, our last and final day, and it's a sea day. And I made it to breakfast. And you made it for breakfast for the first time. Second time. Second time. Right. In the atrium, they have a game and show called one. Spot the Difference. Then at the end, you get a cupcake. We are walking around the waterfront right now, and I absolutely love being in the back of the ship on sea days. Back at the Sail and Stain bar for the last time, I did not realize that they do run out of the drink of the day. We tried to get one yesterday after dinner, and they were already out as it had to have bananas. And there's no more overripe bananas to use. We are going to eat lunch at the local today. Well, watching the game show, take a chance. The food came out really quick compared to the last night. It was uh, about 10 minutes. I got loaded nachos. We got the spinach dip again, coarse wings. I also got a hot dog. And I have to say the take a chance game show, it is all based on luck. It's not very entertaining to watch. DJ, for nine months on board, I'm gonna have a baby. I'm brought to Chef Romeo and his assistant Louis. Come on, guys. They have Queen of the Seas happening by the pool. For the first time on this cruise, we ended up at Sugar Canes, which is the Mojito Bar. Now, be forewarned, some of these drinks are pre mixed, but they're pretty good. Especially your Saturn. I love your Saturn. I got a little umbrella in it. My little yeah. umbrella. We are currently at the Maltese uh, Whiskey Bar. There's been a lot of 
activities that are up charge today. They did beer tasting, whiskey tasting, wine tasting. There's a painting class. There's a painting class today. So this afternoon, we're just making our way through the list here, drinking our way. Um, definitely the Woodford is probably my favorite, but what are you drinking right now? I'm drinking the Matador, which is bullet, ginger, elderflower syrup, and orange bitters. It's very good. Uh, one thing I really like about the Encore is on a sea day, pretty much every bar on the ship is open by noon, which is awesome. It's really nice. I'm getting a, a drinking a getaway. In the atrium, they have a game called Heads Up, where the person has a category behind them. This one is animals, and they have to guess the animal or the name behind them by asking yes or no questions. It's just like the game that a lot of people play in queues at theme parks. We came up to the observation lounge. Part of it is closed off for a private function, but look, we are sailing directly across from the Odyssey of the Seas. I believe you can see the North Star going up, which is their observation ride. Yeah, I'm not zoomed in. This is how close we are to it. Um, there are snacks, not as good as the other time. The sun is setting. We are on the waterfront and we got ourselves some champagne. We got very lucky. We went to Cellars and asked uh, what champagne... Well, sparkling wine would be on like, the beverage plan. And it was only Prosecco, except they just finished a wine tasting class and they had some left over. So they gave right it down. to us. Yep. And then over we'll here, apparently there's tubes stuck in the slide. I don't think those are supposed to be there. Dinner tonight is in the main free dining room called the Manhattan. And I went with avocado hummus for my appetizer. Comes with some vegetables. And then I went you... with something with no vegetables at all. Yeah, Italian meatballs. Main course time. I went with the lamb, and this is giant. And you went with the beef. It's much more moderately sized chimichurri beef. Mm -hmm. For desserts, I went with the chocolate eclairs. And you went with the warm banana souffle. I like my some souffles. After dinner, we listened to some music in the cavern. And now we're watching the main theater show, The Cor Choir of Men. Yeah, it, uh, the stage reminds me a lot of Celtic Fire at the Stern It does. They just invited the audience to go up on stage, and I think they might be handing out beer or some type of drink or something. I don't know. He went. We'll see what he comes back with. Well, it is Who an is? actual beer that they're heading out. It was great. They gave you free beer. It was amazing. Uh, really funny. Great music. I highly recommend it. having one last silent disco. It's going to be the same thing. The years the music is on the ceiling and you have to walk around. Very cool technology. Ending the night in the district brew house as a, there's football on and we're playing one of our favorite games on the ship. And that was our five day cruise on the Norwegian Encore. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment question and we'll try to respond to you. I really enjoyed the cruise. I really enjoyed the ship. Thank you so much for watching.